The client brings in a piece of um, idea either through sketches or references from the internet or television. I think the social media, um, television, radio and everything combined really helps you know, the actual the client pick a design and that's how we start off, we sketch it up, we pretty much go from there, from paper to skin. It's a good time for Seller Jerry through um, connecting tattooists and getting the, the client base and getting everyone you know, connected through the artists. We pretty much uh, share information through Instagram, uh, Facebook. We see a lot of um, gallery events and live art shows as well. We all end up sharing information on that night and from there it just spreads. You know, like once you see a concept, like you can't really just get it out of your mind. It's, it's there, it's stuck forever. In Australia, New Zealand um, online blogs and um, a few of the uh, Tattoo artists, uh, magazines from US. Um, I think the misconceptions about the real process of tattooing. Everyone has a generalized um, concept that it only takes you know an hour or two to complete a whole like like sleeve or a back piece. What well, like in reality it could take 30 hours or 50. Everyone has like a different uh, way of absorbing information, so uh, a lot of it would be like hands-on, one-on-one, sort of in-person marketing, so that they get to see you know events. I think more more pop-up events would be good. What I remember about the night is that they had um, giveaways and the whole collection of cups and posters. Um, the whole night um, was just a whole fun night with music and that's, that really works. That's one of the things I've never forgotten about the event is yeah, the whole branding and it's really stuck to me.